Well, uh, in 2018, mm-hmm. the Simpsons actually wrote off the Apu character. They sure did. Based on the backlash. And yeah, I the guess, Harry Kondabolu. Uh, right. There's a, there's a documentary. Yeah, and I'm in it. Called The Problem with Apu that you are in it. I'm in it. Uh, I didn't get to see it, I'll be honest. Okay. Uh, but what was your take in that documentary? I mean, uh, for me, when, when he was asking me about it, I, at the time, growing up, we had no, like, representation. So to see anybody, I was like, fine, I'll take it. It's only over time and with political correctness and, you know, everybody being woke all of a sudden. I'm like, yeah, it gets tired after a while. But you do got to understand, at the time when it was done, it was fine. It wasn't, it wasn't ideal. And, and, and I get the problem with Apu. You know what I mean? Like, What's the problem with Apu? Well, for me, uh, we, had no, we were an invisible minority at that time. So the only person you saw of, of an Indian heritage was this cartoon character mm-hmm. who was played by a white guy. You know? Oh, a white guy plays him? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. didn't know that. Hank Azaria played him. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, they had to write him off because Hank Azaria said, I don't want to do it no more. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was like, he felt it. You know what I mean? And, okay. Uh, well, but the... But it's fine. I mean, like, it, you know, it is what it is. I mean, we had no representation. I used to look at Eric Estrada and think he was Indian. He, if you look at Eric Estrada, he looks Chips. Indian as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but don't he look Indian as shit? He looks kind of Indian. He looks Indian, Indian as yeah. fuck. Okay. And I've met him like, holy shit, are you sure you're not Indian, bro? Because you look more Indian than me. <laughs> right. Well, because, look. If you go into a bunch of 7-Elevens, even in LA, you will find a lot of Indian people. Engli- Indians or Bangladeshis or yeah. Pakistanis. And, you know. for, for, for whatever reason, owning 7-Elevens seemed to be like a business that's popular in the Indian community. Yeah. Right? They could own their own company. They could set their own hours. And yeah. They could have I mean, a, a it, sense it, of know, ownership. There's nothing shameful about owning a 7-Eleven. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and, and growing up, it was like, you know, especially growing up around black guys, that's what you would get snapped on about the whole time. Like, 14, 15 years old, that's when my black friends were like, yo, hey, uh, do me a favor. Yeah, when your dad comes home, can you ask him to bring me a Slurpee on his way home? I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> and, and then the I go, you know, and I would do that, you know, because you, you're you going back and forth with these guys. I'm like, well, it's funny you should mention my dad. Now, how's yours? Oh, yeah, you don't know him. You know, that kind of shit. It was like always, that's, you're just snapping on each other all the time. So it's fine. It's what it is, you know? You can't get mad at a stereotype if it's, if it's, if it's based off something real. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, why do people get mad at reality? No, I feel you. Like I, I went to a Seven Eleven the other day to pick up some crazy glue, and it was Indian people who were running it. <laughs> like it's just, it, it's not. I can imagine if it, this is something that was only okay. Look, look in in two thousand twenty, Indian people don't own Seven Elevens at all. Okay, cut it out. But that's just not the reality. It's not the reality, of, and we own yeah. Subways too. We own sub exactly. That's another Subway, popular business. Seven Elevens. I mean, I, I don't see any gas stations. Look. At the end of the day, you got to look at it the right way. Stop looking at it the negative way. Here's how you look at it. This immigrant person moved to America and figured out a way to not have to work for somebody. Facts. That, to me, is impressive. What, you own a 7-Eleven? That's fucking impressive because I don't. I shop at one. Right. So who's the fucking winner yeah, in I'm this? giving you money right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, you're taking my money, which means you win. <laughs> right. You can't be mad at that. 